Welcome everyone to another video and in this video we are going to do an analysis of whether or not piggybacking still exists. Uh, and full disclosure, we're only going to be testing one type of piggybacking, uh, which is the more conventional way, the one that was like first discovered, uh, which was doing a charge move right after your opponent does a charge move and denying uh, their fast move. So uh, that's the type of piggybacking we're going to be covering. Um, I may cover the other type of piggybacking, which I call self-piggybacking, uh, if this video gets enough likes or comments. So comment uh, below if you want me to test the other one as well. A I'm doing this video with Jimma Banks, uh, Jim Banks, uh, another Canadian PvP YouTuber. Definitely check him out. Lots of quality content there. Uh, and I would definitely recommend that you go to subscribe to him. Uh, he's been super helpful uh, for me for some of these more uh, complex videos. So let's go ahead and get started. We did like... 15 times doing this so we're pretty confident on this and this is just like one one particular example that I pulled and I'm going to show at regular speed 50% uh, speed then I'm going to go 25% speed and zoom in on the on the energies um, uh, for the last bit so it's all the same battle uh, three times uh, in a row uh, but lots of informal content here so I am on the right uh, Gemma is on the left Gemma went in second uh, and therefore he has charge move priority and I went in first so I don't have charge move priority and I'm going to be attempting to piggyback so I'm going to let Gemma uh, do the charge move first he's going to try to do it right away and I see it's two that's three that's four that's five there's a six one Gemma does his piggybacking a shield he gets the excellent that's great and then I piggyback and as you can see here, it looks like the very standard piggybacking. My fast move animation went through. Uh, he didn't do a fast move to me. And it looks look like I ha we have it. But then take a look closely at the energy. We actually end up the same amount of energy, even though it looked like I successfully piggybacked. And then we go through the second charge move. I end up shielding again. And in this case, I try to piggyback here, but it actually doesn't work. He's able to get a fast move to go through. And then we're both going to race and spam tap uh, the, the charge move. As you can see, we have the exact same amount of energy, and he ends up beating me uh, to the charge move because he has charge move priority. Even though I, for sure, um, not for sure, well, like based off standard convention, I, I did the charge move, I, I piggybacked off his first charge move. So now we're going to look at it at 50% speed, and see see if we can identify what actually happens. So what actually happens according to my analysis is that right after you do the charge move and you attempt to piggyback, the, the game will then credit you another fast move and the energy and then therefore you're actually tied after 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 the catch up. So Gemma is gonna spam tap the body slam. I'm gonna shield. And he's gonna nail the excellent. I guess it's like kind of cool to see it in slow motion. And you'll see this is at fifty percent speed that I click the charge move right away. You'll see that from Jim's perspective, I did a fast move. He didn't do a fast move. Therefore, I should be ahead on energy and on damage. All right, looks like a perfectly good piggyback. But if you look closely at Gemma's energy, you'll see that it actually bumps up, and he only needs to do three counters to get full. He ends up doing um, four, uh, or we get like a little bit of like weird lag there. But regardless, um, Gemma's crazy motions to get this charge move. Nice large circles, very nice. And I shield. I attempt to piggyback. But Gemma's able to get a charge move, no, a fast move in. And then here I go with my crazy motions to <laughs> try to remember where these uh, bubbles are. And uh, anyway, so now I should be ahead on energy and damage. But you'll see that we hit red at the exact same time. We have the exact same amount of energy. We get to the last charge move at the exact same time, 
Gemma nails the body slam first because he has charge me priority, even though I piggybacked him at least uh, well, for, uh, once. And then there you go. And now we're going to look at the video one more time, this time at 25% speed. And this is just right before the body slam. And I have the energies uh, at the top. Um, obviously, the boxes look weird as we do the, the charge move animation. And you'll see clearly that Jim, that I am ahead on energy. I'm on the right, and Gemma's on the left. So Gemma's currently doing his charge move. And um, we get an interesting angle of uh, Vigoroff, um, for those that are curious, um, on the right-hand side, for whatever reason. Not my intention at all. And we get a pretty interesting view of Gemma's Vigoroff's armpit as well. So for science purposes, of course. So now I'm going to piggyback here, as you can see. I do the fast move. I imagine Hero Vange doing his arm swinging motions to, uh, to make it seem like he's a Vigoroff. Can uh, analyze that. You can look at look at those uh, look at those biceps on my Vigoroff. No wonder it does so much damage. And you can see as well how erratic how erratic I am on my uh, charge move motions. Anyway, so I land. I looks like I have the piggyback. And if you look at the energy on the right, you'll see that when it all resets, I'm ahead right here, and then. Gemma catches up. You'll see that it looks like it going up twice because it credited the energy afterwards and we get to the body slam at the exact same time. So at least this form of piggybacking looks like it's been patched by Niantic. A lot of people thought it couldn't be patched and that's just how the system works. But clearly they, at least according to their actions, that this is not part of the gameplay that they want. I'm not sure necessarily how I feel about it. Um, it was certainly a way to get a to potentially get around CMP charge with priority, which I think is a terrible mechanic uh, or terrible consequence of, of what's happening in the game. And I have very thoughts and opinions uh, around that. But it also created a lot of really annoying matches, especially when it was Vigoroff versus Vigoroff, where basically it was a game of chicken. Who was going to do the charge move first and uh, really resulted in like some very odd odd gameplay so i'm both like happy and not happy that that it's uh that looks like it has been patched um if you if you disagree with my analysis let me know down in the comment section below if you have some videos of side 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 showing that you successfully piggyback not just the animation but showing energy and damage is actually different then let me know um otherwise i'm gonna leave it here uh, hopefully you found this useful. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to give Jim a Banks a uh, uh, subscription. Thank you very much uh, for your help and for your patience as we try to trial uh, different um, versions of this. So thank you very much, and I'll see everyone in the next video.